Good morning, students. Let's start today's class with two questions. The first is, what is sorting? Then systematic arrangement of the things on the basis of certain similarities and dissimilarities is called sorting or classification. The next is, what are the basis of classification? Then similarities and differences are the basis of classification uh, classification it means those things which are similar they will be grouped together and those which have differences they will be separated is it okay now see the next today we will see the properties of matter material or matter then there are uh, seven properties the first is appearance then second is hardness then third is texture fourth is transparency solubility in the water density and flotation and physical state so total there are how many properties there are seven properties once again see the first is appearance second is hardness third is texture then transparency solubility in the water density and flotation and the last is physical state now see one by one uh, today we will cover three appearance hardness and texture then see the number one is appearance first is appearance then the appearance of some material is different from the others for example wood looks like uh, looks uh, different from the glass and in a similar way silver looks different from the paper and some material are shiny uh, whereas some are dull the shine present on the material is called luster. Is it okay? What is the luster? Or we can say some are lustrous and some are dull. Then what is the meaning of the luster word? Luster means shine. It means luster, lustrous material are the material which have gentle shine or uh, in and or soft glow. Which have shine or soft glow, they are called the lustrous material. Or simply we can say those material which have luster, they are called lustrous. Then second is dull. It means those material which are the plain and no shine, having no shine. Uh, here it is written signed. Uh, it should be only shine. Shine material that have such luster can usually classified as metals you all know about the gold silver aluminium iron those all metal have the shine on them normally they have uh, shine but uh, sometime uh, if they are uh, old or uh, sometime they also lose their luster and appear dull but whenever uh, however regain their luster when they are polished is it okay Okay, that's why the shiny materials such as gold and silver they are used in making the uh, ornaments. Now, next is hardness. Next is hardness. Now, some substances can be compressed, some can be compressed, and some cannot be. For example, if you try to compress a wooden uh, bar, then you will not be able to do that. But if you have a teddy and you want to compress the teddy and the cotton sponge, then you can easily compress them. Then those material which can be compressed easily, they are called, sorry, they are called soft material which can be compressed. And those material that cannot be stressed or cannot be compressed, they are the hard to compress, they are called the hard material. They are difficult to compress, then they are called the hard materials is it okay for example when we scratch a, a crayon and nail can you do it can you compress it no the crayon gets scratched thus the crayon is softer material let us do a simple activity to evaluate the hardness of some different solid substances what you have to do you have to take a cotton cheese uh, cube of cotton cheese and paneer so, uh, you can take the sponge also stone also now press it now if you can press it easily then they are the soft and if you cannot press then they are called the hard material is it okay now see next next is soluble or insoluble so those material which can be dissolved in the water which can be dissolved in the water they are called the soluble 
and those cannot be dissolved in the water however uh, no matter how much you stir them they are said to be insoluble is it okay uh, now see the example of soluble uh, uh, soluble material sugar and salt they are soluble in water and insoluble suppose you have the uh, stone sand clothes they cannot be dissolved in the water so that's why they are called the insoluble material the first is the soluble second is the insoluble is it okay that can be dissolved in the water called soluble and that cannot be dissolved in the water that is called insoluble materials okay then enough for today and uh, uh, by tomorrow i will tell you the next properties of matter thank you